British actor Matteo Amalric gives an astounding performance as John Doe Bobby in The Diving Bell and the Butterfly, portraying the true story of the French L editor who had the world at his feet until a life-changing stroke left him paralyzed. The only thing left functioning was his brain, but through the love and constant guidance of his therapists, he wrote his memoirs by blinking just one eye. Like a butterfly from a caterpillar, Mathieu transformed his physical appearance for the role. I, uh, I had a dental prosthetic that would push down on one side, and I, I needed it to hurt so that I could concentrate on, um, on something and uh, just a bit of blood on a, on a lens in the eye. And as this eye was very quickly, you know, in the, very soon in the film, it, he, he sued. So, um, in fact, if you have one eye closed, you can really open very, very widely the other one. And, and you don't need to blink, I discovered that. Matthieu says John Doe and his will to live had a profound and changing effect on him. You, you, you think of something, I want to move uh, my foot, and you look at your foot and you can move your foot. So I do some exercise every day, one minute, just not to forget that the brain is amazing, is just amazing. It goes so quickly, there are so many layers, and that we never have time to think, in fact. The Diving Bell and the Butterfly also stars Emmanuel Seigneur as his ex-wife and Max van Sydow as his father. Interesting fact, John Doe as a young boy is played by Emmanuel in Roman Polanski's son, Elvis.